What you see in this video are the red cells, which are dead. So this is dead liver, and the green are the immune cells. They detect these dead cells, and they come running into this site of injury with the intent of cleaning this whole mess up. So what you see in this video is a slight enlargement. So again, the red is the dead cells, and you can see the green cells now running through the vasculature, which is blue, towards these dead cells. And so in this video, we did a three-dimensional reconstruction, and what it shows is that these white cells are actually running through the vasculature towards this site of injury. So there must be signals in the blood vessels that allow them to run towards the site. What this video shows is if we inhibit the legs on these white cells, so they can't walk anymore, they can't crawl anymore, they all just sit there, accumulate, but they don't crawl towards the site. So what this video shows is that if we inhibit the danger signal, which in this case is ATP released from dying cells, if we inhibit that signal, then we don't get as many white cells coming in. So there are danger signals released from dead cells that recruit these immune cells. But what this study identifies is the molecules that are really important for attracting cells, or immune cells, to sites of sterile injury. So there are no bacteria there, yet our white cells are being recruited. And if we understand that, we might be able to limit how much inflammation actually occurs.